Hello, welcome back to the Beastlands. I'm Castle, and this is my stupid face. Thanks for coming back and hanging out with us once again as we journey deeper into the forgotten lands known as Mellorand. We're going to do a quick recap, but I'd like you to know that we're currently holding a contest. It is an art contest. Any kind of fantasy art is welcome. Uh, we don't currently have that many applicants, meaning it's going to be really easy for you to win. Uh, so drop a drop us an email with your application to Call of the Beastlands uh, at Google.com. Without further ado, here's our show. Asides. What? Can you make that thing run into this hole? I suppose I can. Okay. Um I'm gonna go ahead and stop you there, as as the one who identified it and looked at it. There's no air in there. That's fine. Once it's dead, just get it out. I mean, it, it, it just doesn't work as a hiding place. Wow. That's a dark place. Yeah. There's there's the two bed. of them. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to release it on something later. Just pointing that out. <laughs> Okay, well, we can at least just get it to get rid of it. All right, well, how do you want to do that? How how do you plan on luring a single that, boulette or whatever in portable hole? I leave that up to Ascites, Lesk, and Dirk. I will simply um, open the hole. Well, technically, uh, what I could do um, is cast... Uh... Could you tie a rope around me so you can pull me out of the hole? You no one yeah, you wouldn't have to go in the hole. You could, like, dodge around it. Yeah. Um, if it's if it's charging full speed, maybe. I don't know how maneuverable they are. How agile they are. I'm not worried about my acrobatic skills. I don't know about his. So, you're going to bait it and try and like dodge out of the way as it goes into the hole see how that works or I could go into the hole if somebody can get me back out I find that to be a bad idea yeah trap Jeez. the possibility of being trapped in there with this thing kind of sounds shitty Do it, would, it, would it be weird if we just happened to like maybe cook some of that axe beat meat and just set it in front of the hole. So yeah, when a site yeah. stops, well, when a site avoids it, it'll have the bullet just track onto the scent and then try to go for the food. You can try that. Sounds viable. Sure, I want to see this happen. Do we want to take an hour to put a glyph of warding down? It's an explosive trap, trap that he could do. Mm-hmm. And I can set Perfect. specific conditions for it to go off. Well, just in case it decides to avoid the portal, have that ward just in case for protection. It takes me an hour to do. And it also okay. takes a, a big resource. What resource? Incense and a diamond powdered diamond worth at least 200 gold price. Does anyone have a diamond worth 200 gold? Could that just come out of my actual currency that I have? Since it's in actual gems? I don't have any diamond. Do you have written down a pile of miscellaneous Usually tell you what, but if I forgot to do that, I might be able to. What is that? Someone is clicking. Ethan, it is nothing. <laughs> it is you. I don't, I don't see any. Yes, you. Gems. Okay, it's not Ethan. So then we can't do that. Sorry, buddy. Oh, no worries. Well, um, let's just let's let's just try it. Yeah, just try it out. 
Okay. So how do you lure it? With the meat? Is that the plan? Um, yes, and then if it decides to avoid, just have a ready weapon drawn just in case. Cool. So well, what do you do, like, put the, the meat on a long stick, bring it over the hole? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Kind of like a Wily e. Coyote skit? No, we're going wagon hunting. Wait a minute, I've got an idea. Does the, does the hole have to be oriented vertical, or are you putting it horizontal? Um, good well, question. I'm not I, I have going to have it. Okay. Well, hold on. One thing at a time. Can the hole go on vertical surfaces, or does that have to be horizontal? That's a good camera zoom, Dave right there. Forget the camera. No, as soon as, as soon as you said the question on a gizzard, it like zoomed in just a little bit. Like, whoa, <laughs> that was cool. But I, don't, I so. don't know why I did that. I'm pretty sure you can put it on the ground because what it really is is a napkin. Okay, in essence, in reality, it's a napkin. Fold it, and when it's unfolded, it's a it's a hole. Right, and the hole it doesn't actually exist underneath it. You lift a napkin; there's nothing. But well, I was going to say in. if we could if we could orient it to where I could jump over it, but the land shark would go through it. Yeah, and fall into it. Yeah, I feel yeah. you. And you got meat hanging over it. And it's like yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, I'm trying to think of like what I want for this. How, okay. You can place it on or against a solid surface. Yeah. Okay. So any solid surface. Yep. Okay. You could do it into a wall or whatever. Okay. All right. So that does actually help with my idea of put up the hut, put the hole on the hut, on the outside of the hut. Ascites can just run around the hole and into the hut. Okay. Roulette runs into the hole. We're still safe. Someone's got to fold up the hole, but you can Reach, worry about that as soon as it jumps in. And do okay, that. so expel, expend the spell slot for the hut, or is it a ritual cast? I can ritual cast it, but I do also have it prepared. Well, you have to have it prepared. To... Nope. Yeah. Nope. That's the point of ritual casting. That you can cast it without a spell slot. You still have to prepare it. Look it up. That's that's. I was fairly sure that that was. You don't it doesn't cost to. you anything except extra time. Still have prepared. Yeah, unless it specifically says anything in regards of components. I mean, yeah. You can cast a wizard spell as a ritual if the spell has the ritual tag and you have the spell in your spell book. You don't need to have the spell prepared. Wrong. Oh, that doesn't happen very often. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I do have it prepared anyway, but... <laughs> <laughs> but that's why I tell you to look it up. Yep. Yeah. Feel that way. Anyway, um... Shit. So... Ascites, uh, what do you do to try and lure this? Because the smell doesn't seem to be getting it done. I'm going to make a lot of noise. How far away from the um, gravel pit are you doing? Uh, I'm going to be 30 feet away because I can dash twice at his jump or movement speed. Okay. Are there any big boulders around? Course. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. I can outrun him. And, Dad, you do have the bonus dash, so you can go yeah. over than that. Yeah, we went yeah. over that. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. I can go twice so, as far as he can. You start making a bunch of noise, yelling, stomping I'll the ground, sing. singing. Oh, yeah. I All like right. I'm such a pretty cat. Woo. It doesn't take very long for the earth to start shifting in the gravel pit. <laughs> Before long, you see 
this big fin start protruding in your direction, moving rapidly through the earth. So Calvin's walking by, huh? And it starts chasing you. Yep. Uh. In a span of six seconds, one turn, it dashes towards you at 40 feet burrows. I mean, 80 feet burrows. <laughs> Burrow or burrow speed? Burrowing. Burrowing. Bro. Bro. bro speed. That's bro. bad. That's bro speed. Okay. Uh, when I first see it, I'm going to dash toward the hole and take off running that direction. Yeah, yeah. It's chasing you. You're quick. It's quick. You're a little bit quicker. And um, you get to the hole and you stop and you turn around and you can see it dip below the ground and stop. And then it erupts in front of you. Go ahead and dodge this. I'll give you the dodge action. Give him disadvantage. Biting, jumping. jumping. What were you saying? What do I roll? Uh, nothing actually. It's the dodge action. It gives him oh, uh, He's gonna try and jump out with his deadly oh, leap okay. and bite you. So if he jumps at least fifteen feet as part of its movement, it can then use this act to land on its or other creature. To get try and tackle you, right? Each of those creatures see it on saving. Well, I've never read this. All right, cool. That makes it really easy. Go ahead and give me a strength or dexterity saving. I think. That's 27. Dang. You neatly dodge out of the way tries to mash into you and falls through the hole side of the uh, portable hut. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! I pick it up. I fold you it start, up. You start rapidly folding up. Two of you. I put it in my backpack. You feel your backpack shift. <laughs> and then again. <laughs> Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and make a strength check real quick. Are you sure Get this thing can hold it? Bubble. Get that out of the bubble right now. <laughs> okay. Can I get my Pokeball out of my bag now? <laughs> 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 I throw it back down, but just well, I don't throw it back down. I just place it there and I walk away. <laughs> no. Uh, as you throw it, it bursts. Boom. Boom! There's a boulette standing right there. Everyone, please give me an issue. <laughs> uh, if you read the description of the portable hole, something that is trapped in there just needs to make relatively low strength David, or, uh, strength check. I knew this the entire time, but I decided I was going to be quiet about this whole plan and just kind of let this all play out. I didn't even have to read it. I was just like, yeah, that's what we're doing? Okay. <laughs> I got the hood up. That's my thing. I can mm -hmm. sit here quiet. So... <laughs> Wait, did you throw it down inside or outside the hut? What? Did you throw it down inside or outside the hut? Inside or outside the hut? Yes. Tiny hut. Well, we're in a were hut. Doing... Uh, well, Gizzard cast the Liam hut. So, did so you... a side piece ran into the hut? Yeah. I'm in there, too. But then, like, Dirk, you would have had exit the hut to fold up, you know, hole. I'm the only one. So that now I'm wondering, like, you put it in your backpack and then start doing the thing. Did you put it inside the hut or outside? Okay, it'd be outside because I'm not inside at the moment. Okay. It's that. So someone roll me a D10 for an A D10 for initiative? D10. I was like, okay, this feels unfair. <laughs> you, you I have the advantage. <laughs> I feel limited. Man, this is hard mode. We got a... 
Well, someone no, already rolled an initiative. That would have been the same uh, roll. But Fourteen. Would have... Five. No, bef- No, when you said everybody roll initiative, I rolled a fourteen. Yeah, that's before the layman's tiny hut. Oh. So, but you don't add your initiative. Five. Luckily, I rolled an. Go ahead and act. It bursts free from the uh, portable hole. Seems to be damaged. And um, it stomps ground, shakes, is that a roar? Go what, ahead. What is this distance from us? Fuck it, Mealy. Really? It's right outside. Legit? Legit. I, I okay, can't. I'm going to do a passing damage on it. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> it is I not surprised by you. You're not going to assassin. I cast Spiritual Weapon. You get advantage on any creature who hasn't taken a turn in combat yet. Just because we didn't roll initiative, tried to jump and bite it. I only heard some of that. Does it look like there's more? Huh? Does uh, it look like there is more around? I mean, not immediately. Uh, I'm go okay, ahead. so spiritual weapon is cast. For an 11, it misses. Or a stony plate. I also attempt to hit it with my maul. All right. Maul it death. Get that one hit. With a total of 13 point damage. So I don't get the assassinate bonus. You can get to get the advantage. Your sneak attack. But he he's already like been engaged by trying I'm hearing half of what you're saying and it's really confusing to me damn this thing <laughs> heard that that <laughs> crip is back again <laughs> yep so Ding, uh, you are no, hereby no. condemned to the realms of a fiery nature hey dear <laughs> no, you don't get your assassination because he's already been engaged in combat. He made an attack against uh, Ascites before he went in the hole. I'm counting. But you can still flank him and get, you know, advantage and sneak attack. But it's not going to be an auto crit. He's already been engaged. Okay. I'll just We're do technically that surrounding him right now. Yeah. Or it's oh. easy to maneuver. Um, well, I was gonna sling him back, uh, but I'm afraid who's you can behind him. Through the hut. I just kind of have to four. poke part of myself out to cast. Um, twenty-four from you. And Gizzard misses. Mall hit for third. Hey, except why do you have advantage? Uh, uh, because he's flanking. Oh, you should have had advantage too. Oh, so if you want to roll again, just to make sure it's a nat that twenty. I'll just roll another single one. Uh. Nope. Well, good. I didn't want to change that damage. Anymore. So, um, Ascites, you taking advantage of its temporarily flustered condition, dodge underneath to its soft spot and stab directly up at relative thin plate near its armpits, dealing critical damage. You do follow that up for me. Okay. You do friggin' 62 points of damage. Jeez. Uh, you hit something extremely vital. This thing lets out a gurgling shriek, and it takes a couple wobbling steps and almost falls on you. 
Uh, give me a dexterity saving throw. Thirteen. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> yeah, you dodge out of the way as it crashes to the ground. It is dead. Kitty's gonna eat good tonight. Tuna, anybody? Wow! Um, Someone else should almost this. impressive. That was a lot faster than I expected it to be. Somebody give me perception. Me? Uh, no, me. What's, what's your advantage? Based? Or we can both. It can be. Ah! No. <laughs> you get? Well, not funny. Yeah. So it has been made clear to the party that several more bulges of gravel are shifting and revealing pins and moving in your direction. In fact, you can see seven of them. Traveling towards you, gravel. I'm staying I... in my hut. <laughs> we, we they immediately to dash 80 feet towards you, putting them at a range of around 40 feet away. You have one round to prepare for combat, or you can charge it. We'll go ahead and keep initiative. Um, I mean, well, Dirk's going to go up to the nearest tree. If there's a tree, there's no trees. Everything's been torn up around. I there's fly boulders. ten feet in the air. All right, ten feet up. I'm gonna go. Uh, you said we were in a ravine, right? They, uh, it's it's kind of like a bowl. Um, where you're okay. at right now. I'm gonna get up as high as I can on the sides to get an advantage from above. Okay. No question. I'm gonna do. Anybody I'm gonna do my normal blind? movement. Anybody? Mm -hmm. What? You you were saying ascites? Um. I'm gonna use my normal movement and get as high up as I can and uh, get ready with my longbow. Okay. okay. Saying gizzard. Anybody want a hunting blind? What? Do you want to be elevated up where you can lean forward? And make ranged attacks? Yes. Sales pitch? That would yes. be dirt. That would be me. And me. Uh, um, I could use rope trick. Yeah, attacks and six, can't six cross six the extra dimensional space. And you can make it six feet up. So. Yeah, but you can still lean forward out of it and still be standing in it and make. But attacks. these things can jump like they can jump like thirty feet. Yeah, but the problem with rope trick is that it's not like you can just magically and instantly climb it up. Yeah, you can do it in order and do it at half of speed. So yeah, you can cast it in a turn, but you can't get everyone up there. Um. I wouldn't be able to do it in one turn. I mean, I may try to climb that. Yep. I'm not saying it's useless. But, but it doesn't give me half speed. Because you're athletic, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Climb. You and Ascites both have. Well, do you want it to be all the way 60 feet in the air? Shorter. Yeah, it's up to 60 feet and if anyone's in there when it's over you get shot out so if it's 60 feet in the air and it ends you're 60 feet in the air and falling cats land on their feet Dirk flies I'll do something could run up the rope as the oh, thing yeah. ends I'll already be flying so I'll be 60 feet in the air Oh, Jacob had texted earlier. It's not actually. It's on the mission. On. Yeah, he was talking about some of the stuff for um, Dirtle's Rest. Uh, he's going to Haunt Tower. Five months.
<laughs> well, that's going to add that. Anyway. You can take a map with him. Whatever. We'll talk about that later. Now we're dealing with bullets. Uh, so, Gizzard, you cast the spell? Yeah, I'll yes, cast you? that. Okay. So then, like, who all starts going up this, this rope? I'm going to go first. I'm only going to so, put it 40 feet in the air. Okay. Dirk, you go up how high? Uh, as high as I can go. Uh, I'm going to go, let's see. Uh, no, I'll dash up to it. And then on my next turn, I'll just have him kind of end it. And then I'll be 50 feet in the air because I'll be flying at that point. It goes into an extra dimensional space, but you can go in and out of the entrance to shoot, and you're safe in there for an hour. Oh, well, I mean, my idea was to use the rope, get as high as I can, then fly off at that point, because I'll be oh. flying at that point. Gotcha. They can't reach me, so I'll be shooting a mile a minute. That's a good distance so, on that bow, man. You have a climbing speed of five, so you can dash up it. Yeah. Feet. So you you climb like thirty nine feet and fly off a foot or two. Yeah. Give you boost. Cool. I'll accept that. Who else is going up? Ascites. Mm. No. I'll stay on the ground. I'll keep him okay. occupied. I will stay around the rock, but I'll be fighting circular to that. Okay. Stay on the ground. Anyone else going up? I have to stay in the hut or it'll drop. Okay. Fair. Lask is the only one I'm worried about. I think Lesk may be falling asleep on. Uh, a little bit. Uh, but... I also don't really have any way to fly or escape rope. fairly quickly, unlike you guys. Because you're asleep. Well, there's a couple <laughs> options. You could try climbing the rope, which is going to be half your movement speed up it. Or you can go inside the magic hut, which protects thing getting inside it. Hmm. You can also or you could come over and uh, back me up. The hut. Can they get inside the hut at all? If they no. notice that attacks are basically coming out of it? No. Alright. Not for eight hours. Um, then I will try and get some high ground as well and climb the rope. Where'd the rope where does the rope lead to? It's just like up on a nearby hill? Or so it's, no, it's somebody it's... carrying rope bell. Yeah, it's in the chat. I see, so it's just uh, like up on a tree or something like that. Right? No, uh, the rope goes up and then has an opening to an extra dimensional space. Oh, it can hang by itself. Yeah. yeah. From the outside, it looks like it's just hanging. Yeah, you can even pull uh, up the rope into I'll... the space. I see. I'll just hide in the space then if there's no high ground to situate myself upon. So you're going to start climbing the rope? Uh, I won't be able to do spells while <gasps> hanging onto the rope. But once you're up there, sure. you can stand 40 feet up with your torso or whatever out of the entrance and do your spells and things. Otherwise, nothing can get... Mm -hmm. No attacks or spells can get through the entrance. If they have a way, they could get in through and be in there with you but that'd be quite difficult alright well then yeah I'll just situate myself in the hut and shoot spells out of it yeah okay cool. Cool. Um, I'll tell uh, Bograt and the men guys get in positions yeah they We're can use it too me. terrible times why don't you tell them to come over here and cover me that way, anything that comes up around me, they can take care of, and I'll shoot everything else from a distance. Tell them okay. That. Tell them our uh, plan. So, <laughs> let me ask you, you ground rogue. Are you, like, on the other side of the hut from the charging bullets? 
I would be up on the side. Yeah, I'm on a, a side. I wouldn't necessarily be behind it because I can't see anything. Gotcha. All right, so um, yeah, these uh, these land sharks start speeding towards you, and uh, they go underground, and then boom, 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 you can hear some impacts from underneath. Uh, it's starting to like crack the ground a little. Then it it stops. Feel like vibration. And like one of them jumps up and crashes inside of the. Crashes in the side of what? The dome. The hut. Dome. Gabba. Um. <laughs> and he like like belly flops onto it and then slides down, starts burrowing back in the ground immediately. Can I shoot at it? When it jumped, you could, yeah, yeah, get a shot off at it. Doesn't it Anyone who has a ranged attack could try and attack that one. So sure. that's an. We well, only got one attack though, so you got twenty. Oh, did it go twice? Yeah. What is wrong with this thing? No idea. Um, but you hit it for 25 points of damage. Good. As it uh, pops up, I'm going to smack it with a wasp blast. Wasp blast, go! 31 and 9. That definitely hits it. Go ahead and wasp. Uh, well, it'll have to roll a strength save, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's our turn. Again. Wait, you're trying to push? Yeah, I'm pushing it as it comes up. So you're trying to push it back on the ground? Uh, kind of push it across the land, if possible. So as it's jumping up, it would be like. Uh, it'd be like right here. I shoot it with an arrow. It goes sideways across the ground. Like, at I least that's how. The, yeah, I see. I see where you're going with that, but you're right above the dome. Oh no, you're flying. Yeah, I'm flying. You're flying. Okay, we'll do that. I'll give it a save. Let's try to save. Do 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 do. That's. Eight. Wow, that's really low for him. Yeah, he felt that. Cool. So he goes skidding off. And I fire another arrow at it. Twenty and that ten. Hit. That hits. Nineteen damage total. Not bad for two arrows. Not bad. Bad. It grunts in pain and rolls as it's getting super powered. Uh, anyone else got a ranged attack that want to level up this thing? Can I poke my head and arms out? Yeah. Wait. Can you? As long as I do not fully leave. Okay. Then yes. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and chill touch these one of them. Okay. Do do do. What now we, what we, to follow that up? You want to follow that up for me? Of course. He froze himself. Gosh. Wow, that was really low. Oh. This thing, it doesn't like me. It doesn't want me to do well. Why don't you go ahead and roll me in? You want to go freeze yourself, and in the process, you sneeze and shot yourself in the face. It actually does necrotic damage. That's a 44. Do, do, do. Can you dodge it? <laughs> I cast unlikely dodge. Don't dodge it. Dang it. Hey, 
a wild magic surge goes over you and you lose control of your magic temporarily. Oh, I love this. For the next minute, you can teleport up to 20 feet as a bonus action. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Ooh. But you don't have to do this every time. Be lucky, <laughs> thankful, happy. The hut is 10 by 10 if I teleport. <laughs> I yeah, it's a, it's a useless spell. effect. <laughs> also, your spell is wasted. So. Well, it's anyway, a you're welcome. <laughs> Don't roll a one. <laughs> that, that, that would be great any other time but now. <laughs> I love wild magic. Don't I? Eat? <laughs> Got a history. Good it history. So much. It's almost as fun as trying to tame monstrosities. It's so. Uh, great! <laughs> Uh, I love owl bears too. <laughs> anyway, um, instead of talking about things that I love, let's talk about how fucked Ascites is. No, um, who's up <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cast a shatter down at it. Okay. It's going to make Constitution saving pro. <laughs> And Shatter it's... goes off and cussive wave makes it shriek in pain and armor crack. And uh, it stops moving. That's one! So... And then I will control my spiritual weapon if it hasn't disappeared yet. It was has it been a minute since the first one we fought. Um, I think this is second round after that. Third. Yeah, no. it's not been a minute. All right. Well, then I will have that thing attack another one. Well, they're all underground, there, buddy. Oh well, then never mind. <laughs> well, I'm I, glad you can take it back after rolling one. <laughs> in that can I didn't I, Who do we stack? In that case, I, I didn't go. realize they're all underground. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the thing. Like least... one of them jumped up and smashed into the bubble. The rest of them are it's underground. So I found another one and, and jumped up and tried to do the same thing. Or... This is what happens when you yeah. fall asleep and try to climb a rope. These things uh, just don't yeah. work out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, work was tough today. I was moving things off the pallet. No, no, I'm just saying it's like <laughs> in your character it's like <laughs> <laughs> No one's given Cage off and give less guard. <laughs> oh my Okay, so uh about that turn <laughs> Oh man Lesk Follow uh, that up. Oh, Wait, yeah. so you use shatter? Can't use spiritual weapon? You spiritual weapon is done. a bonus action. Once you cast it, you can control it with the bonus action. Yeah, but you use shatter as your action. Now, would you like to use your bonus action to do something else? Uh, I can't really do so, much with my bonus action. Okay, you have done. Could I still cast yeah. a bonus action spell even though I cast a cantrip for my action? Yes. Okay. Why would you like to do that? I need to check. This is the advantage of having... Let's see, who, who hasn't gone? I think that's everybody, right? Besides he's... No, I shot Except it for... first. Shot. Oh. Oh, okay. Never mind. So, I do, about that I do want to meet... I do want to meet... Uh, if no, I could... Uh, the only one I do want to move another 30 feet up the uh, ravine. Okay. Uh, I, I would assume prepared anyway. Bobrad or other men might... I mean, I guess I could teleport to the other side of the dome. Uh, you're a waste of spell, though. No, I mean, so, as a bonus action, I can teleport up to 20 feet. Yeah. It's like a waste. So, um, 
about how far away from the dome did you say that you originally posted up, you two? Side Who, me? Oh, Side I'm about 60 feet away now. If I move another 25 feet up the ravine, I'd be about 60 feet away. Okay. okay. You? About the same? Going up? Yeah, of course. No, I'm staying on the ground. I'm just oh. going to maneuver myself on the ground. I can't but do I... much with ranged. Okay. Well, no, I'm on the... Oh, oh okay. Well, I'm in the ravine, but I'm 60 feet above. The, yeah, yeah. Or I'm 60 you, feet away from the. You went up to try and get a better view. I'm still on the ground, though. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it's slow, so you, you don't have to both hands necessarily. Um, okay, well, then on their turn, about. Well, two of them start rushing underground towards the site. They get 40 feet closer, and they are not showing themselves. You, you get two of them as well. You're a hell of a lot closer. They can reach you. And one of them jumps out and does a deadly leap at you. Please give me a strength or dexterity saving. Wait, a strength or dexterity? Correct. It says literally says strength or dexterity. Careful. <laughs> Just barely need it. So you dodge out of the way only to have another one head poke out of the ground or burst out of the ground, I should say, next to you and bite at you. Uh, let's go ahead and make that attack. I'll do uncanny dodge. You fourteen hit you? No. Wow, that's, that's a lot of damage. Um, well, it's it's really big creature. I'm glad I have the dome. It's a monster awesome. But sixteen is my armor class, so no, it does not hit you. This big, huge mouth snaps next to your uh, face. And you feel like if it hit you, it could have bit. Uh, the the head shape reminds you more uh, of nothing more than snapping. You know how it's just like huge bite. But anyway, um, that leaves one more of them, which is currently trying to hammer on the bottom of the bubble vein. I thought there were seven. Yeah, you're right. We killed one. That leaves six. More of them runs over to you and bites. Follow us on all major social media. Discord, Twitch, and as always, thank you for joining us. See you tomorrow at four.